speaking of having to be careful. Mirrors just walked right in, he didn't care. It's a miracle he's not do dead right now. Mr. Donkey Girl. Holy moly. What a name, bro. I don't know what they expect to happen here. Okay, this Vi actually should be reported. How on earth is this behavior even legal? It's a goddamn Vi invading level 1. Like, good luck finding a more useful, or rather useless champion. Mine is really OP, fortunately for us. Best I can do is just full clear. Just act like nothing happened in full clear. Then we have a bit of extra gold to spend on our first base, which is obviously nice. We go same build. Malignants, land, resource, shoes, just standard Kelsey's build right now. Also, isn't it funny how two games in a row, just by existing and not doing anything, just wanting to farm, I get a jungle lead. Because the enemy jungle has no idea how to play the game and just invades for no apparent reason. <laughs> it's so silly, man. All you have to do is sit back, relax, enjoy life, and wait for the enemy jungle to do something stupid. Then you win games. I mean, no joke, that's actually how it works. Keep in mind, these are Grandmaster and Challenger players as well. If you're playing versus Lil Bobby 69 and Silver, it's gonna be even greater for you, even more opportunities. Hike is pretty far away, but I have to go now before the wave has already been pushed in. That was a pretty well played escape by them via subsite. <laughs> Mental advantage secured. They are so tilted, I can promise you that. <laughs> they are mentally boomed. I was jeweling it a little bit. No regrets. She still didn't finish a full clear. <laughs> she still didn't full clear, dude. She has 20. Yes. <laughs> That's so pathetic. Oh my lord. She's doing wolves now. Then she's done with the first clear. <coughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh man. I'll just clear top to bot. Enemy bot lane is in a really, really bad situation now for obvious reasons. They lost so much gold and XP. And I'm a lot stronger than Vi, so if I sit bot and we just play the 3v3, it's a free, free W. What are they gonna do? They're gonna need to include the solar lanes to get out of the situation, but they're not gonna be winning mid because Orianna has no flash and Ari should have pressure. Via spot, I'll match. They're gonna desperately try to push out. We strike, we kill them, and get the free LP. Is this Vi auto filled? Yes! It's a mid lane main! It's actually one of the worst feelings in League, having an auto-filled jungler. If one jungler is filled and the other is not, it's just insta-overdued. This role is too hard to play if you're not comfortable on it. 
But that makes it even crazier that Vi went for that level 1 invade, not knowing what she's actually doing. If you are ever auto filled jungle, for the love of god, full clear. Just full clear from one side to the other. Don't do anything else. Then you can actually play the game and have a chance of winning. Wait, we just got solo killed mid? That's kind of strange. What on earth is going on? We just need to walk into the jungle, then we get a lot of mana regen. Uh, we're losing heart both mid and top apparently. Both getting solo killed. That means we have to hard carry from jungle and bot. We can't afford to make mistakes. Remember when I said we cannot throw our leads jungle and bot, so we're gonna lose. I think bot lane might have other plans. No pressure, but you can't lose bot now. We have to snowball. Arena's flash up with both me and Pike moving, maybe we have a chance. Here is Kartus. It's so silly that they removed your ability to ping somebody else's ult or pinging them in any way whatsoever. So they have to spam R for me to realize that Yone is low in ult. And that's the world we live in. Blue I can get for free. Grump is a little bit more sketchy because Vi is going to be back from base soon. Oh shit, Orianna knows I'm here. Gonna be a banger fight here. I'm missing every ability. Like I just missed every single Q. Honestly, don't think I could have played that much worse. My bad. Disgusting play. Absolutely disgraceful. Should be ashamed of myself, and I surely am. Orianna has Ludens and Mercs. Our Auri has a lost chapter. It's kind of hard. Probably getting run down with no counterplay. It really sucks the bounty on me was so big. If we traded one for one and Siri didn't get a bonus 450 gold, this actually would have been really worth it with us getting dragon too. Oh fuck. Messed up the pie gold. If he used pie gold at the right time, he probably could have gotten a triple. It's really hard. I mean, just gonna give props to the solo lanes. The mid and top gap are freaking huge. It's making it really hard for the rest of us over here to, to get the job done, but it's not entirely over. Maybe we can do it. They saw me when I sneaked into the bush. <coughs> Dude, every time I look at this Darius, he's sitting AFK and spawn, and it's really triggering me. I'm sitting here trying my best and this guy is spending half of the game just sitting there doing nothing. For God's sake, man. We're not entirely aligned on how to play this game out. I'll have top to bot. Full play again. I need enough resources to 1v9 this game. It's crazy that this Vi might actually win the game. Hey, <laughs> that's really depressing. But. So be it. That's all of you. There's no way he's not doing it intentional. I just don't know how to untilt him. Like, how do you get a player this tilted to actually mentally recover and start trying to win the game again? <coughs> we did get first off bot at least. Not that it changes much, but something. No. 
would have been a kill. Not many items I need to carry versus them. Three core items maybe. But the problem is, at the time that I have three core, Yone and Oriana will have it too. They'll probably have it even earlier than me. Rudy and Drake. The fighting is getting harder and harder. Like we're not even ahead bot lane anymore. I'm the only one with an advantage. Alista and Pike are both one level down. I'm three levels and 70 CS up, but who cares? Everybody else is struggling. During games like this, you just need to remember. There's always going to be league games that are unwinnable. I can't say yet if this, this game is going to fall in that category. It kind of looks like it, but... It's a team game, there's five players on every team that can play either good or bad and, and try to influence the game in, in one way or the other. And even if you have a game that's near perfect, if everybody else is struggling, there's only so much you can do and it's, it's just not going to be an easy time. This would be a game changing kill, it's really important we kill her. Does anything. <laughs> well, I'll push mid. Nice thing, Harold. If he buys time, we can win this, but he has to buy some more time for us. Thanks for the Herald leash. Everybody's 1 HP, there's a pincer for Pike if he catches them with his ult. An enemy has been slain. Oh my god, he missed you, kidding me. Oh my god, no Pike! No! No! Well, he tried his best. He tried. Ah. They are stacking so much magic resist. I will need magic pen for sure. There's no way around it. We're gonna be 100 CS up in a moment. Holy crap. An ally has been slain. You can burn. I'm not hitting it yet. Holy shit, these solo lanes. Legit. It's infuriating having players like this in your team, because if just one of them tried to win, we actually could do it. But it feels like they're just doing the opposite of what they're supposed to. They just have to play safe, take a step back and allow the rest of us to carry, but both of them have main character syndrome and want the entire game to revolve around them. That attitude leads to constant mistakes, and we're just falling further and further behind as a result. Well played by Callista. She got two 650 gold bounties. I will, but they're not low enough. It doesn't do anything yet. Okay, I'm gonna press the button now. <laughs> Keep in mind, Kato's Pike is a good combo. If I put them low with my ult, Pike can clean up. We need to chase here. We have no choice. Got that Baron, YOLO it and hope for the best. It's time to get desperate. Ari and Pike are having fun in the enemy jungle and stuff, helping us keep in mind the person who's tanking it deals re reduced damage to it. Like I deal 50% less damage. The YOLO Baron paid off. I 
possible, boy. Nah, not possible. Well, I'll take that trade any day of the week. Everybody else lived. Everybody else has burned both. It's just not working, dude. It just ain't working. Come up eventually with ult. I wonder if she dies to my ult, she has 800 health. You have slain an enemy. Did die. Has been slain. And obviously it feels absurd that there's a chance we lose with this kind of performance. But keep in mind, if enemy team loses, Orianna and Yone are gonna feel the same way. Smurfing in these fools. Let's bring it home. Huge fight. Darius actually popped off massively here. He redeemed himself and gave us a chance to win the game. Props to him. <coughs> it sucks we can't bring it home yet. I have to be patient, wait for a new opportunity. Highest 13. I hit 18. Highest levels in the game outside of me are only 16. We need to play really fast now and just go ham while I'm this far ahead. Don't give them time to scale. If he lets me farm this, I have Rabadon. Fuck. He got the cannon with bleeds. I don't have gold for Rabadon. I'm gonna farm one more bot. This item spike is just too big. Come on guys. One good fight. I'm not gonna get any stronger. I am a raid boss. I don't want to ult too early. Oh shit, dude. There's no way this is happening. No, 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 no. Bleed. Bleed. It looked like we just lost the game. Holy moly. Oh, this is so stressful. Well, if we win a fight as terrible as this one, I would like to think we have pretty good chances. We even got a Nexus to it. This is huge, dude. Huge. Oh, I should have gotten an Elixir. I actually got enough gold for Elixir when the next Astrid dropped, my bad. It's too late to go back now. We should take the red buff. Denying red is really big. No mind. Wait, what? Man, my bad. Yone kind of smurfed on me. She's actually relatively tangy. Not tangy enough though. This was a bad play by me. The main reason it was a bad play is that I was the only one wanting to ag go aggressive fighting. Everybody was spam pinging me to back off. And I think, I mean, like you saw, they went really deep. They overextended like crazy, but because we were not fully on the same page, it was just really awkward. It was still a 3 for 2, but when you're in this position with 2 inhibs taken and Baron up, that's not a trade you wanna you wanna take, it's not good. Okay, I have to follow. I have to fight. Time to walk forward. Looks like we're not gonna need the Baron after all. 
I'll bring the wave. We need wave sends. Unbelievable how hard it was to win this game. <laughs> Looks so difficult. But mental strength and good vibes prevail once more. We didn't tilt, we didn't flame anyone, we just played the game. And we managed to, to carry it and bring it home. Gotta give props to Darius and Ari as well. It was a horrible, horrible early game for both of them. They completely sprinted it. I mean, it sounds harsh, but that's the truth. But they also just continued playing and, and tried their best. And, you know, if they had continued just constantly dying and, and played in the same way, it would have been a loss for sure. I had 7k gold more than that jungler. 180 CS leads. Orianna actually managed to have more damage than me. That's pretty insane. Enemy team was probably flaming Vi. I think while Vi made a lot of gigantic mistakes and played really over aggressive, especially considering she was auto filled and she just played safe, you should probably just blame the matchmaking system more than anything. Like I said in the game, if one team has a main jungler and the other one has an auto filled jungler, the team with the, the jungle main is going to win almost every time. The role is just too hard to play for somebody who's not comfortable on it. Well, the fastest clear for me is starting blue. I think having the top and covering Olaf early might be pretty good. It is impossible to play Gragas versus Olaf. It is an unplayable top lane matchup. So if Olaf gets a good start, they will not be able to stop him on side lane and he can solo carry the game. Are you going to do something in the future with No Way again? I would love to. I actually sent No Way a message on Twitter like a week ago. But he's a busy boy. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. Um, but at, at some point in the future, if No Way has time and is interested, I mean, I'm bound to, to play some duos and have some fun. It's been a while. The Pro Way duos are always amazing. To be really careful here. First blood. There's a spot. Missing too many cues. That might actually help him escape. Alright. Huge. <laughs> that was a very, very great time for our bot lane to win 2v2. If it was opposite, if the enemy bot lane had beat mine, I would have had to just base and then move topside from base, accepting that Graves would get my wolves. His invade was really bad as well. He doesn't know how fast Carter's clear speed is. In some matchups it can be good to do red into invade enemy Grump if you can catch them on Grump before they finished it. But in this case I could finish it and smite it away <laughs> before he even made it there. That's just a pointless invade. A lot of solo queue junglers do this. It's like they don't really have a clear plan in mind, they don't really understand how their jungle matchup works, and instead of just playing slow and just farming, they just invade with no real purpose because they feel like, you know, they have to make an early play and cheese the enemy to win the game, instead of just winning by being smart and having good pathing. Wait, why did... I'm genuinely curious why he just suicided. He was beating Gragas when he won. Gragas got pushed out all the way. Graves wouldn't be able to kill him. He had plenty of health. Graves has no flash. If Graves even went for the kill, we would have killed him for free. Sometimes what people do in solo queue literally blows my mind. I have no job right now to will spawn. I wonder if I can do dragon. But the only real question is whether Graves comes here to face check. Because if Graves is here, it's going to be awkward. Rakan did not base, by the way. He actually cancelled his reset and killed Majestana. I couldn't have changed that anyways, Tristana just 
Ended up in trouble. Gorilla had to reset. Tundra has no flash. She already used it. like the support the support is super clean just the fact that they're constantly there to roam when enemy makes a, pra uh, a practice play it's literally the only reason we're getting so many kills if rel had just tunneled and bot lane and never moved we probably would be really behind right now even that's why supports have so much power over games much more than people realize they're basically a secondary jungler and if one team has a constantly roaming support and the other doesn't the one with the support who's AFK bot cannot play. That works. I do have ult. It has to be very low for that ult to kill though. Oh, shit. I have no count of I'm dead. She's gone. I can't reach her. Well, at least I still didn't ult for nothing. I got to help uh, Tristana, uh, she was getting dove and her can't died. Graves is gonna face check. Question is, I mean, I can kill him, but can I kill him before anybody comes and kills me? Not 100% sure. He's just a little bit too fast. All right, works. He's gonna ult me. I have no can play. I took one tower shot too much. Now I kinda regret going for that kill on Rakan. It was unlucky, Graves was 5. He walked with Crocs, hit 6 off of Crocs, and that's why he could kill me. I guess I should have taken that into account. Look how much mana I just got back. Presence of mind doing work. I think Graves is cross mapping. Well, I'll get it before he makes it here. Yep, slow poke. It's getting bot scuttle, there's not much I can do about that. Off. This time it's gone. I need to stay a little bit so I can help cover rail if they go. If only at old right now. I actually die on the ignite anyways. This rail is a beast. I'm spotted by a plant. If I can get just a little bit more gold, I'll be pretty happy, then I can get haunting guys in base. How nice that? Now the question is... Oh my god, that was actually a clean escape. I was about to say... <laughs> now the question is, is he gonna blame somebody for what's happening bot? Or is he gonna take responsibility? Blame others for this. Keep in mind he hit that turret 
with a completely dark map and zero vision on anyone. Like if you play that aggro with no vision, you're kind of asking to get ganked. You had to wait till Rel was a bit closer. Oh, luckily, enemy team got greedy. Look at those CS leads. There are going to be 50 CS up in Graves now. Sentry is really far. Tempting to take Raptors, but this kill is more important for obvious reasons. Drake. Kind of similar situation as last time I based. We just pull clear top to bottom, get dragon and spawn again. Simple, straightforward. We'll even have ult when it comes up. I'm gonna be a lot stronger when I base play Andrew, but I can't right now. Get the dragon first. Maybe the ult top. Keeping an eye out. Is flying a lot of time. It's almost tempting to ult just to cancel their bases, but it's not worth it. Well, it doesn't even look like anyone's basing, anyways. I'm not gonna go for Siri. I'm actually surprised. That was a free kill. Worth. My ult did not go to waste, by the way. I did get involvement in two kills. Okay. All according to the plan. I'm gonna keep invading and stealing camps whenever I get a chance to. He's 70 CS and 3 levels down. It's really, really unplayable for him. And you know what the funny part is? If he hadn't gone for that stupid level 2 invade, he actually would be able to play the game. But that invade ruined the entire game for him. Has no TP smile. <laughs> and considering the circumstances and the fight we just had, I guess trading two for two is not too bad. Our goal now should be to start cracking the other tier twos, get mid and bot, keep exploding our gold lead. Playing aggressive bot side is good, anyways, because then we'll have control when dragon spawns in two minutes and it's gonna be easy to secure. No! Why didn't he just walk out? He could just have walked out and let me have the kill. Most useless ult. Feels bad. XT? What are we XTing for? <laughs> Do I even want to know? I'm pretty sure he just made a mistake. Nothing. We've been chilling, playing isolated the entire game. If that's how he feels, imagine how enemy bot lane feels. They've played without a jungler for 20 minutes straight. Holy moly. This sucked. That's my bad. Olaf, Tristan and Rel were too far away, I shouldn't be playing aggressive. Because of my mistake they're gonna get Dragon. 
If only I had ult. If I had ult, it wouldn't have been too bad. Then we definitely could have killed at least two of them. Olaf's ult ran out, he messed up. It's really, really important you never let your ult run out. I'm also not just sure why we're farming red and raptors though. We don't seem to be entirely on the same page right now. It's a bit of a problem. A problem that may ruin the game if it keeps happening. Wait, are they gonna hit Baron? I may need to be ready to move to Baron. I cannot afford to make another mistake. It doesn't matter how hard I've jungle gapped this kid. It's not all about creating a jungle gap. We can still lose the game. Holding. Damn it, man. We're getting caught left, right, and center of this game. Couldn't fight them, but at least my ult made sure nobody resets. And the problem is they might hit Baron, and I don't have it for the fight. No way. Oh, even with your can, she couldn't survive. Not too bad. The team can win this. Olaf stomps them in this fight. Olaf is really, really OP versus enemy champs. I feel like we're so afraid, but I'm not sure what we're afraid of. Like, look at my damage. Look at the health bars just after I press ult. But... Oh, it's hard. Maybe I'm playing too aggressive. Maybe I should fall further back. It just... Like, if they ever go on me like this, we should just ace them. Just run them down. And kill them with my R. Because that's the thing about Katos. If you engage in Katos, you should lose the fight. Because you're s it's like Katos still deals the same amount of damage. Infernal Soul, big. Gotta get the Baron now, one way or the other. An enemy has been nice! <laughs> get above the mid-wave as carefully as I can. Olaf is playing a little bit over aggressive, I would argue. Not entirely sure what he's up to near the Nexus. What he should have done was just walk back when the enemy team went for him. The same way that I walked back when they came mid. I could have done the same and started diving the Nexus, but that rarely leads to good things. with a lift from the healing from that item but not much I can do when Siri flashes on top of me 
last item should be either Sonya or Shadow Flame. Sonya gives us a bit more safety, Shadow Flame gives more damage. We'll see if we get to them, hopefully the game is over before I have that much gold. 10 seconds. Okay, looks like the game is over. GG. Very nice. This game was really challenging, no way it should have taken 31 minutes to close it out, but better late than never. That brought us the two wins and two losses. Now, <laughs> hopefully we can start making real progress and get a positive win rate. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Counter scapped.